Jeremy. Speak Jeremy. up, speak up, because you're kind of okay. far. Well, uh, it's a pretty simple test. It's just four questions I want to ask. Okay. Um, the first one is, have you ever told a lie? Of course. Okay, what do you call someone who tells a lie? You gotta worry about me speaking a liar? Yeah, pretty much. Um, what do you call someone, or have you ever stolen anything? Yep. What do you call someone who steals? Thief. Okay. Have you ever committed adultery? No. Okay, have you ever looked at someone with lust? Yeah. Okay, Jesus says in Matthew chapter 5 that anybody who, who looks with lust at another person is guilty of adultery in their heart. And, I mean, I've done that too. I mean, who had not right? Yeah. Um, have you ever committed murder? No. Okay, Jesus says in Matthew chapter 5 that anyone who hates someone in their heart or anyone who acts out of anger towards another person is guilty of murder in their heart. Have you done that? Define acting out of anger. Have you ever called somebody a curse word? Yeah. Yeah, that's, I mean, in that verse he goes on to say anybody that even com that calls someone an idiot is, you know, guilty of committing murder in their heart. Guilty. Yeah, me too. And so, if you stood before God on judgment day, would you be innocent or guilty? I'd be guilty. Yeah, I would too. And what should God do with guilty people? Okay. Well, I mean... What do you think is going to happen to you? I don't know. I think you're probably asking the wrong person. Well, uh, let me ask you this then. If you committed murder and you go before a judge and uh, he sentences you, you're going to have to carry out the sentence, right? Sure. And for murder, it's probably going to be what? Life in prison. Life in prison without parole or death, one of the two. Um, those are pretty extreme, aren't they? Uh, yeah. Pretty much. I mean, pretty much either one of them are, are life-ending sentences. Because you're never going to see that outside the walls of the jail again, or you're going to die. Um, actually, the the sentence for breaking God's law, uh, Romans 6:23 says that the wages of sin, like you earn death because you sin. And it's not just a physical death, but, you know, just on the physical part, uh, I got a crazy statistic. It's 10 out of 10 people that are born die. Really? Yeah. It's crazy, isn't it? Um, but, same way, you know, when we break God's law, there's also a spiritual separation from God. Um, and God should send those guilty people to hell. Because we are criminals before God. And, I mean, you've got... Hell is a place of punishment. Heaven is a place of reward. Would you agree with that? Well, this would be assuming that I believe those two places exist. Okay. Well, do you? No. Okay. What do you believe? I believe in nothing. In nothing? So, basically, when you die, it's over? It's over. That's it. Okay. Don't deal. Let me ask you this question. If uh, if I'm wrong, what have I got to worry about? Oh, well, I suppose it depends on how you live your life. Uh, if I'm I mean, if, if you're right, if at the end of this life it's good. Oh, well, if, if, if you're wrong and I'm right, well, you have nothing to worry about. Okay. If you feel like you lived your life, like you feel like you need to live your life, then... Well, no, I mean, I could be a, a mass murderer and rape everybody on, you, on ASU. And at the end of my life, I go in the ground, it doesn't matter. Yeah. You're dead. I mean, yeah. That's it. Okay. What if you're wrong and I'm right? What if heaven and hell both exist? Well, assuming that you're wrong, or that, that I'm wrong and you're right, I was raised a Baptist, and in the Baptist religion, they say that forgiveness is for everyone. So if I'm wrong, I'll be forgiven. Uh, I think you went to a bad, different Baptist church than probably I did. Um, well, doesn't that seem like a cheap way to live your life based just in case? Like, I believe just in case. Just well, well, I'm not, there's, there's so many other things. Like, um, I'm not a Muslim either, and I'm not, you know, I don't believe in the Greek and Roman gods. But, you know, I mean, what if any of those things are right either? Why just pick more and more for everything? Well, obviously, they can't all be right. No, obviously they can't all be right, but uh, just if I was going to believe in one just in case, why pick 
Well, I picked Christianity. So I picked this one? Yeah. Well, every other religion in the world, without a doubt, every other religion is based on how we can achieve, how we can um, do what's good, how we can be good in God's eyes. But how can you argue the fact that the Romans grossly mistranslated the Bible and skewed the facts in order to control their people and the translations that we now have in the Bible come from the Romans. How can you trust that? They didn't come from the Romans. The Roman Catholics? They the Pope and all that? The translations that we have were written before the Roman Catholic exactly. Church. Well, once they King got James it. translated in English. And I, I don't know. Those things don't matter so much as just, I mean, what you said about believing just in case. Why? Why live just in case? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I was trying to prove a point, though. I mean, I don't live that way just in case. I live that way because, because you believe that's what's right. Yeah. Um, I understand that. But I mean, let's just say for a minute that heaven and hell are real. Because if you have a place of reward, you also have to have a place of punishment. Because. Do you? Well, what would be the point in, in doing anything if everybody's going to go to hell or go to heaven? Well, I mean, if... Uh, this is this is also assuming that heaven is a place where all rewards are equal. No. Do you think that certain people who do certain better things deserve a better place in this heaven than other people? Like, say, say, say I'm basically a good person. I follow, I follow the rules that are laid down by me in the Bible, but somebody else, you know, they they do it just a little better than me. Are they going to be treated a little better than me when I die? Well, if that's the case, then both you and the other person deserve to go to hell. Because the basis for getting into heaven is not how good of a person you are here. Well, that's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm, I'm so all rewards life. are equal then? No. Um, I mean... So, so it's like, is there like a middle class in heaven, or a, well, is there me, a middle and upper class? Mm -hmm. Well, no, <laughs> but you're assuming too that uh, rewards are uh, like a physical reward. Well, not not just that, but some people in heaven are favored of, of both others. Yes, Jesus says that. Uh, I mean, why? I don't know if I want to go to a place where just because I didn't live like someone else. Because I, I didn't conform to a... Well, I, not not so much conform, but just because... I don't know. It's like... Uh, I heard somebody say that uh, the Earth is 7,000 years old and you know things like that. But there's all this evidence to the contrary, scientific evidence. Can and, you give uh, me maybe one fossil? <laughs> yeah. You know how long dating. it takes for a fossil to fossil? Oh, it's a long time. It can happen with yeah, but the dating, carbon dating, shows... That's been proven wrong. Uh, you no. can date something that is living, and it says that it's older, in fact, than something that's been dead for 50 years. Suppose that... Uh, uh, do you I believe just, that man and uh, dinosaur coexist? Yeah. <laughs> this is... I mean, why... Uh, but you're assuming, then, that the Earth is very old. Oh, the Earth is very old. Four and four point two five billion years old. Um, four and a quarter. Okay. Well, I would, I would say that it takes just as much faith to believe that than it, as it does to believe what I'm believing. I wouldn't. Um, guys, do you also believe evolution? Yes. Can you, can you test that? Uh, you, uh, you can test evolution. Can I mean, you that, recreate it? Can I recreate can, it? Can anyone can recreate it? Four billion, like well, I recreate I can't, I can't four billion yeah, years. I can't of recreate four evolution. billion years. Though. So, I don't have four billion. For something years. to be considered true by the uh, scientific community, doesn't it have to be replicable? No. And it has to it be has testable. To be, it has to be testable and observable. And, and that's, I mean, that's been done with evolution. By who? Uh, I mean, Charles Darwin Charles, observed yeah, the effects of it. But. Uh, observing the effects of something are different than observing the actual act. Well, it's a, it's hard to observe the actual act of evolution because it That's does take. Well, I mean, it's 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 been proven. It's no longer a theory. Just like uh, so gravity.